echocardiogram in parasternal long axis view shows dilated left ventricle, left atrium, aorta and a small portion of the right ventricle which is usually the outflow region. Mitral valve leaflets seen in open position between the left ventricle and the left atrium are thickened. The large aortic regurgitation jet can be seen as a mosaic jet in the left ventricular outflow tract anterior to the anterior mitral leaflet. A portion of the thickened aortic valve can be seen between the aorta and the left ventricle. The AR jet is almost filling the left ventricular outflow tract and extends well into the left ventricle beyond the anterior mitral leaflet indicating a free aortic regurgitation. Dilated left ventricle, aorta and left atrium also suggest that the AR is severe. A pical five chamber view shows the dilated left ventricle, thickened anterior mitral leaflet and posterior mitral leaflet. In this view also, the AR jet is large, extending deep into the LV, indicating severe AR. Thickening of both aortic and mitral leaflets indicate the possible etiology as rheumatic. Mitral and aortic valves are the most often involved valves in rheumatic heart disease, the former being more common between the two. When there is associated mitral stenosis, the color Doppler jet of mitral flow merges with that of the aortic regurgitation in the left ventricle as both occur in diastole. But the velocity of aortic regurgitation jet is much higher than that of mitral stenosis as the pressure difference between aorta and left ventricle in diastole is much higher than that between left atrium and left ventricle. This is a parasternal long axis view from another case. Arctic valve is seen as grossly thickened and calcified. The right panel shows the multicolored jet of aortic regurgitation along the ventricular surface of the anterior mitral leaflet. This is quite an eccentric AR jet and hence assessment of severity will be difficult. Here is another eccentric jet of aortic regurgitation going along the posterior margin of the left ventricular outflow tract or the anterior mitral leaflet. The systolic frame on the right shows the mitral valve in the closed position while the diastolic frame on the left shows it in open position. The anterior mitral leaflet shows a reverse doming as the aortic regurgitation jet strikes it. Systolic frame also shows a trivial mitral regurgitation into the left atrium just behind the mitral valve as a bluish mosaic jet. Measurement of vena contracta